Welcome to this uh, GCSE RS revision video on component three, world religion of Educast. This is Islamic beliefs and teachings, and this is video four of five videos. And in this video, we're going to look at angels, or Islamic term Malika. We'll think about the significance of angels in Islam, Sunni and Shia diversity of belief about angels, and particular to do with their free will, and some specific angels, Jibreel, uh, most importantly in his revelation of the Quran, Mikhail and his work in terms of looking after the plants, and Israfil, who will blow the trumpet on Judgment Day. So, angels in Islam. So, angels, Malika, and the communication of God's message. Islam teaches that angels are heavenly mortal beings. God's first creation. According to the Quran, humans were formed of clay, and the angels were made out of light. They are God's messengers, the channels through which we can become aware of his laws and his purpose in our lives. They are God's servants and they can take on many forms and carry out his commands. But unlike humans, they have uh, no free will, or at least that's our view. They are without sin, and so they are able to enter into God's divine presence. But they also can communicate with humans. And the Quran does talk about angels quite a lot in uh, Surah 2, uh, Ayah 285, it says, the messengers believed in what was revealed to him from his Lord, and so have the believers. All of them have believed in God and his angels and his books and his messengers. And saying, we make no distinction between any of his messengers. So angels are messengers. They say, we hear and obey. We seek your forgiveness, O Lord, and to you, is the final destination, his messengers. So the nature of angels, although angels are invisible, they exist everywhere throughout the whole universe, and they're never far away from any of us, that's the claim. And they are always in contact with humans, especially when someone prays or thinks about God. They have no physical bodies, but in the Quran, it describes them as having wings and uh, describes them as, as male. Um, a number of angels are mentioned by name and it would be good to know some of them. We'll think about uh, a few of them. Uh, the exam board specifically mentions, first of all, Gibriel, Gib, Gibriel, Gabriel in old money as it were, uh, the angel of revelation. He was the archangel responsible for revealing the Quran to Muhammad and he brings the messages to God's chosen one not only to Muhammad, but other prophets. Michiel, or Michael, is the angel responsible for keeping the devil out of heaven, protecting the faithful worshippers. But he also is, is said to bring sustenance to the body and soul and rainfall to the earth, water for the land. So he's the protector of the faithful and protector of the land and plants as well. Israfel, or Raphael, is an archangel who will blow the trumpet on the day of judgment to announce resurrection of, of all from the dead and then we have an interesting one Azrael is the archangel that takes souls to heaven um, I think uh, the, the grim reaper as it were uh, then we have the angels who are the noble recorders Rakib and Atib Rakib and Atib the noble recorders they sit one on each shoulder they're kind of like your guardian angels except they're recording your good and bad deeds, noting them down to be read on the last day, on your point of judgment, so you can weigh up your good and bad deeds. And then there are two terrifying judging angels, Munkir and Nakir, who will question each person after death, testing their faith with the three great, great questions about what is your religion, who is your God, who is your prophet. Now, there's great diversity in uh, Islam over angels and real interest in angels, both in Sunni and Shia. In general, Sunnis and Shia share common belief about angels. According to the Quran, angels were God's first creation. They're immortal. 
they always obeyed the commandments of God. But Sunnis believe that God created angels from light and they have no free will. Shias, however, accept that angels do have limited free will, although this will never lead them to sin or act against the will of Allah. And Shias also believe that all it was through an angel that God made it clear to Muhammad the Prophet that following his death, Ali, this is interesting, Ali would be the next leader of the Muslim community. Further, they say that the angel Jibril visited Fatima, given Jibril's connection with the Quran, that's interesting, isn't it? Visited Fatima, sharing divine wisdom with her, thus confirming the importance of uh, the Shia emphasis on Ayal Atbayat, the, the Muhammad's household. Fatima was Muhammad's daughter. She was married to Ali. Remember, uh, it, there's a division in, in Sunni or Shia. Are they the followers of uh, Ali, the Shia, or Al Abu Bakr, the, the Sunni? Ali was the mother of Hassan and Hussein, who maybe would be killed in a battle. So angels are important, and the Quran talks a lot about angels, and there's differences in uh, belief. The Quran says, whoever is an enemy of Gabriel or Jibreel, it is none but he who has brought the Quran down upon your heart, O Muhammad, by permission of God, confirming that which was before it, and as good guidance and good tidings from the believer. So there's Gabriel or Jibreel's role in that. Okay, so this is uh, video four of five angels. Go and do some revision using the mock questions and practice the practice and the answers. Uh, look at the quizlets online and do your topic test in this topic.